The host of The Wall, comedian Chris Hardwick, is here, along with Allison Moore, the CEO of Comic Relief, the organization behind Red Nose Day. Thank you both. It's great to have you. Chris, I know you've been involved with Red Nose Day for a long time. Tell yeah. us about some of the good work this organization does. Well, it's, it's such a phenomenal, it was started by this guy named Richard Curtis in the UK decades ago, and we've had it in the, in the US since 2015. And so Red Nose really finds where children are in need the most and, and spreads the money across you know, a variety of charities that uh, make sure children are safe, healthy, um, fed, um, you know, helps with education. Uh, certainly, like you said, you know, within the last year, um, it's it's been even more crucial. Yeah. So it's just such a beautiful organization, and and also the idea of like approaching it from like, hey, we're going to put on these red nose and sort of you know be a little absurd and have fun, but just to highlight like a really serious issue, but in a way that we as performers are able to sort of you know um, just kind of create this environment that gets people's sure. attention, and, and it's been such an amazing. We used to do a live show. Uh, obviously, we weren't able to do that this year, so we were able to do uh, an episode of The Wall and, and devote it to Red Nose Day. Well, Allison, you know, COVID has raised the stakes for a lot of charities, yours included. How does that change Red Nose Day this year? Um, well, you know, our, our mission is just really more important than ever. And as Chris mentioned, keeping children safe, healthy, educated, and empowered has been always at the core of what we do. And coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic, I mean, I, you know, so much happened to children. And the, the original piece was that children wasn't a, weren't affected. Um, this was an adult problem that, you know, that we could kind of uh, not worry about them so much. But when you think about the economic, the health, and the racial reckoning crisis that happened in this country, the sort of support systems for children just sort of fettered away. And so when we come back now, uh, we see that around 13 million children in the U.S., that's one in six, mm. actually are living in poverty levels. And that's Incredible. kind of staggering when you sit back and think about that and your own sort of, uh, and my own fortune. So, you know, while we begin to see a path for communities on the way out and, you know, things are opening up and the vaccine is here, we have to remember that while it's been an amazingly taxing year for uh, many of us, it's actually been a year that has set children back many, many years, some children back many, many years. And and I think um, we can't make progress if many are left behind. So well, with that, our work becomes really even more crucial this year, more we so can, perhaps than ever. And Allison, we can all help. Allison and Chris will be watching, and we hope you'll tune in to NBC's Red Nose Day edition of The Wall next Thursday, May the 27th, 8 o'clock, 7 central. And you can learn more at rednoseday.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.